when yeah. that we're a bit late to the stream. I thought Dan was streaming. Dan thought I thought Kelger was, was streaming, streaming and then we Oh god, and now the stream is playing in the background. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, a, a small yeah, we're mishap. A, we're a little late, but uh it's okay. It's okay. We got through, we're we're not uh, we're not too behind in draft. Look at that. We're we are we are at the final band of phase one and look at that. These bands look like we're in worlds. And you know what else? I need to change this title still. <laughs> you can do that. Anyway, yes, Worlds has uh, probably influenced the meta here in the collegiate world because every champion that's been pretty meta in the world stage has been pretty much banned out. Such as the Aatrox was still pretty strong despite the nerfs to his uh, main mythic item being the Eclipse. Renata, always a very strong enchanter support, who can also do initiating stuff. That will be out of the table. Aphelios and Azir just reducing the amount of DPS potential that Are You White want to get. Just a heads up, we are up against Farmingdale University. Farmingdale? Oh, Farmingdale. It's not Shit. just farming, it's Farmingdale. I had it's Farmington. I got trolled. Is it Farmington or Farmingdale? Is it Farmington? Wait, hold up. We're really <laughs> prepared just, for this. As a ton. It is Farmington. No, not no. I'm trolling. I'm the one All trolling. Right. Anyway, okay. this is a very Back serious stream, by the way. I haven't even glanced at draft yet. This is because I, I need. <laughs> Ooh, so are you. I'm trying to get the proper actually, stream title. Yeah, they actually. Uh, they had they had some considerations they wanted to ban that Yumi or not. They go with the surfing instead and they will take the Yumi for themselves as well as the Hecarim. Already a pretty good synergy in its own right. Blue on the blue side being farming a ton, not farming Dale, farming ton. They got the Viego. Viego always a solid pick with the right team. Viego can pop off. Galio as well being that wine pick in the mid lane. Or at least, or at least it seems like it. Yeah, the Lux. Seems like it's going to go support Galio going to go mid with that heavy global presence with his uh, grand entrance, <laughs> heroic entrance. I think that's what his name. Anyway, now what's the response coming in for the red side of Rutgers White? It's going to be that Tristana. I'm surprised uh, this world didn't go for the Echo. The Echo was left open. I guess he didn't feel like it was the right moment to. Did also receive it out. buffs. Patch with the passive damage. Mm. So kind of surprising he didn't really go for it, but either way, it's going to be more bands coming in for both these sides. Caitlyn going to be the first. Not going to be any target bands. Maybe the Akali is a pretty good band. Akali has been somewhat strong in the right hands, obviously. And uh, they don't want it on the side <laughs> of Are You White. They will. Are you white? They're gonna ban out that ash. Yeah, ash ban coming in. Not too surprising there. I'm not wondering. Hold on. Is everything good? Okay, everything is good. Thank God. But yeah, Lux obviously <laughs> going support. It is uh, the Farrington College supports most played champion this split. Uh, right in front of the Lulu and then the Karma just had a lot of heavy enchanter focus with this pool. I actually am curious to see if the Sucks does end up going for the Ludens build or goes for a more support build with the W Max may get a <clears throat> uh, Moonstone Renewer in there. Obviously Lux pretty risky into this Tristan, very prone to getting blown up. Then again, Tristan Yumi not really the lane you typically oh. look for. They want yeah, they're, gonna they're, be... they're dumping everything into this Hecarim. Hecarim yeah. strat. Ooh, 200 okay. IQ plays is patented Zillion mid. It's disgusting champion pool all around. He's going to be paired up into an against a uh, Galio, which is shouldn't be too bad of a lane for him. Yeah, Galio. Uh, of course, incredibly long cooldowns on the pick on um, the champion, so even if you do manage to gown him, burst him down, by the time he gets a revive out, you're probably not going to ever have enough damage to kill him. 
You do have uh, a very nice gank setup, though. Yeah, and there is... But then again, too much IQ plays does have the Chrono Shift, so it's not good. But then again, before level 6, it's going to be really hard for the Cillian to survive if he does end up getting camped by this Viego. But it's going to be a blind pick Orn coming in on the side of Farmington. Sivir going to be that final pick. They want to go for the Caitlyn, especially with that Caitlyn Lux Synergy bot lane. But are you white? They see they saw what they were trying to do. And they uh, swiftly ban it out. Here comes that response on the side of Are you white? What is the counter pick for this Orn or <coughs> in general? Yeah. The, the... So interestingly enough, um, both uh, Bozen does primarily play the support role. Uh, however, he has recently swapped over to ADC and has been playing a whole lot of Seraphine bot lane, uh, which is incredibly uh, sh shares a pick with Owen Seven, so makes sense to see Red Side probably going to be picking up a lot of Seraphine bans this series. Won't be surprised to see uh, Farmington uh, pick up the uh, Seraphine ban when they're on the Red Side. Yeah. Yeah, here it is. The final final draft coming in. Gonna be a Darius last pick going over to predictable. Uh Okay, you got that Penta has had some in the very first interesting game. performances on the champion, especially early. Bit prone to getting murdered. But that is just how it is with the uh, he can come back. Gets... He can come back. He gets stomped in the lane and then he just pulls up into a fight with the pentakill. So like you never know. And it this is a pretty nice comp to beat Darius because you do have that front. Uh, these fights will be going for a while. You're not exactly going to be getting bursted here, and you do have the Ore and the Galio, the Viego to just freely stack your passive onto. And of course, Zillion, ninety nine percent move speed increase once he gets that level five E. Nothing to scoff at. You're going to be flying towards that Severin Lux later on in the game, especially with that Hecarim. You know, Hecarim plus the Yumi. That is, that is, it's going to be scary if this Hecarim does manage to get ahead. But if this Hecarim doesn't get the resources he needs to stay in the game or stay ahead, he is, this, this, this comp has a chance of falling apart. They need to be extra careful and extra aware of where Hecarim is, help him at all times. Whereas on the draft of Farmington, they've got a very strong front to back comp. Front to back comp. They got the Orn, the Galio to tank. Diego could be that secondary front line, but the main focus definitely is going to be that Sivir and the Lux. Sivir with the on the hunt can help gap close, disengage, or even just hunt down mainly to uh try to combat this Hecarim comp, comp. See how they will end up doing that as we get into the uh, actual client to pick their champions. Yeah, and the one thing I'm going to be concerned about for the side of Varsity White here is just this early game, making sure that not that the Darius doesn't fall behind early, that your Tristana Yumi don't get too heavily poked out, which will give Viego any uh, any chances to stack that early dragon. Won't be surprised to see them go for an early Herald either, the, once Orn hits the level 6. Miss Gally, you're going to be able to make a, f a fair bit of cross-map plays, especially early before Zillion's able to get too much of his wave clear going with the Lost Chapter pickup. With that, head to be short break, leave about three minutes, and then we'll get back to you with game one. So, see yes, you sir. Then.
We got some illegal technology coming out from TRNG gameplays. He's got that coal. Gonna be able to auto harass Galio down, who has incredibly low base armor. I believe it's in the to mid to low 20s. Just so he's not played top lane. And it's gonna be very helpful. Ooh, us. there you go. Yeah. 20 gold music. in the bank. Her music is nice. And j j for once, everything has transition properly. I didn't forget to unmute my mic, I didn't forget to transition <laughs> scenes. Already off to an incredible start. Both in-game and... broadcast. Yeah, I've been a bit of a slip-up at, at the very beginning. Stream's going now. Yes, sir. It, it's gonna be the Comet Lux, which does say to me it's probably gonna be a, a, a full AP build. At the very least, going a Lost Chapter Mythic. Rather than say it might just be like a Crown of the Shard Queen. <laughs> but yeah, gonna be Summer Spellbook for Zillion, gonna be playing for Aveline. Obviously, doesn't really have the kill potential onto the galley, you're not gonna be looking for it either. Just gonna be trying to scale up, get that all six, help enable Nispril to do what he wants across the map because that <clears throat> something that 200 Q play specializes in. We go. Oh, and seven? Could oh, be on seven. the end yeah, of they the don't... They show themselves now. I'm not able yeah, to but Lux amount to anything. Yeah, only seven. Missed you. Yeah, I don't Which know. Is... They can't really trade that well into a Tristana who went Hail of Blades. They. I don't know. I don't think it was the play there. And now music is nice and 0 and 7. They have full reign of this lane. Both members on Farmington's bot lane already at half HP. And 0 and 7. He is hunting. He wants uh, some sort of some sort of way to get ahead and to check your place. Obviously, with it's, that call, he, he's doing his best to get lane. some harassing. Uh, yeah. He picks up every single CS under. Uh, before he hits the turret, he'll be up about one. It's gonna be a bit hard. Yeah. As <laughs> music's nice, going trying his best to get some poke down. As uh, Galley's already down a pot mid lane. Wave does crash in, so he misses a couple. Yes, there are nothing you can really do about it, unfortunately. As Viego gonna be passing bot, both junglers off the sides of the map, uh, clearing about, uh, about the same pace. We do. We should, probably should also mention some of the interesting things, especially Bozen with that ghost. Definitely <clears throat> a very defensive, or it could be used offensively. Yeah. But mainly for that defensive, uh, try to disengage from the Hecarim engage, especially with all those movement speed buffs that they have with the uh, Zillion, or it's the late game, Yumi even. It does look think. like Predictable is able to get the wave slow pushed in top lane. <clears throat> Has the prior in case Viego does show top, obviously, one because we, they did see him bot. Now he's just going to take a reset, pick up probably boots and a long sword made, depending on how much he has. Oh, no, a bit poor. <clears throat> yeah, just gonna get the boots and refill and a pink. Ooh, Turn they spotted in. something. They spot the Viego on a ward. Yeah. They're going for him. But can they really catch him, though? He's in the... He flashed over the wall, is. but... Yeah. Oh, yeah, he did flash over the wall. I don't know. Yeah, he's kind of in no man's <laughs> yeah, He is. He is done ghost, for him. This bro yeah, pops the ghost. To make sure he gets bro, the... He's gonna make Yo. sure he's respecting the Viego <laughs> damage. But now here comes 200 IQ plays. He whiffs the, the time bombs and this bro, he is not looking too good. One more stab and Terrence, he gets a kill somehow. And, but, I mean, he trades odd. his life for it, but that was like best case scenario for him. That was a really prospective look. I'm so shocked that this bro went for that just because <laughs> it oh, wasn't like the egg. Yeah. He wants to. That should be fine. Play. I don't think yeah. he gets a kill. Does get does force Orn out of lane. Does force the flash. He wants to go for more, but the tower. Live. Never mind. Almost. My bad. Almost gets him. <laughs> takes him out. Ooh. 
Getting a little close there to enjoy your plays. Not looking too yeah. good in the mana department. Yeah, it's just Nisperl going in way too early. Diego hadn't even tanked to turret shot from trying to execute because of that. <laughs> Obviously, the the whole uh, double bomb missing didn't exactly help. This looks like Chandra Key plays has picked up the lost chapter from that kill though, so he's gonna have a really really nice time with his Gallier now. <laughs> Before nothing big has happened, Terence. Ooh. He shows himself, but he's gonna be on a war, so he's gonna promptly back out. But is does he want to? There's 200 IQ plays. He is creeping around. The minor adjustments coming in from both these teams. Now Froggy. Uh-oh. He's, he's gonna find a he's gonna find a little horsey in the jungle. I did mention if this Hecarim does get behind, it's going to be really bad, and this time 200 IQ plays lands the time bombs, it will land the stun, and Nesper will just barely get out. But, uh, yeah. Terrence, uh... Terrence is angry. He saw Nesper take his Raptors, now he wants his revenge. <laughs> does uh... have the smite cap, so he's not going to get the steal away. He was really trying to brute force that prior as well, smited the minion. To just to make sure Gally could get the wave and Gally did hit six off that push as well. Does connect onto music is nice. He doesn't have to hop into the Tristana. Now he does. It's gonna be finally off cooldown. Yeah, it's when this one starts to get points and he's, he's looking for a solo kill. And this pro is there to back him up. Good pullback <laughs> to interrupt a dash, and there is just everything down into the kitchen sink onto the Orn. And it's gonna be a nice free kill. That was a really smart wait as well. He he waited to do the pull for when Orn was in the E wind down, so, was, so the Orn wasn't able to uh, unstoppable the pull. And of course, Nisperl slid in there, ulted. Really wanted that. Really wanted to cash to in. Not sure if it was the greatest play, but he did get I it. Mean, he does get the he does get the kill. And then again, you really want this Hecarim to get ahead. You want this Hecarim to get a good chunk of the gold. Because if you, because basically, it, are you White's entire comp is mainly centered around this hacker. My, my cannon. <laughs> <laughs> In a minute, there's some pings coming down onto that yeah. blue buff. They know hacker the start bot side. And oh, there's a catch when this bro. They don't, he sex, doesn't know he that. Doesn't have it. Have yet. Oh wow, he even gets a blue buff for himself. Terrence now, he's in a lot of trouble. 0-7, oh, yeah, he's gonna go in and jump ambitious. in. There's the Galley ultimate, but that's not gonna do a damn thing, because he just, this, this Terrence guy, he just gets blown up. Good stun from Zillion still bombs. has ulti for this. Yeah, They're he fine. still has that chrono shift, and too much IQ plays will be able to take out Froggy. As Bozen, got to flash out. And overall, a good fight. Or, uh... Rucker's good punishment on that uh, aggression coming in from Farmington. Thinking they had the uh, advantage by finding the Hecarim, but the rotations coming in from uh, Rutgers is just way, way better. <laughs> that was just Terrence being a bit too uppity, I'd say. He 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 was like, I have Galio ult up. This card should be fine. He'll, he'll get there before his healing, but he, didn't, he just didn't expect the raw burst coming out from this tri Hellblaze Tristana from the Hecarim. And yeah, just gets exploded because of that. Galli is completely caught out in a 1v3. Yeah. Flux is in, level, is in level 6. Yeah, she can't really offer much to the fight. Now, they're just looking for an, a duo invade with the Galio. Wow, yeah. they just lost the fight and they're gonna keep keep the aggression going. They're gonna find too much IQ plays. Chrono Shift is good. Buys a little bit of time for Predictable to come in with the ghost, but too much IQ plays, he's still going to go down. Predictable, now he's running a lot of HP. Now he's gonna go down as well. The Viego this gonna get a double. He's gonna go for more. Transforms into the Darius, gonna go for more. But Terrence, he might have bit off more than he can chew. As he's gonna get taken out. Shut down by music is nice. Yeah, you may gain it kinda sucks, especially when you're rotating your Tristan all the way towards the mid lane. You're gonna be bleeding about a wave, you're gonna lose two or three plates bot lane, that's gonna be just about 400 
50-ish gold, which balances out the play. Oh my god, wait, 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 I don't know what the fuck that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, don't... I don't know what the fuck he thought happened. I, he got I, I don't know, I don't know, man. I, personally, I think uh, Farmington's doing a lot of disrespecting. I don't know if that's just me, but uh, Terrence going for so many aggro plays, and now Froggy uh, doesn't respect 0-7's damage. He just no, gets just, popped immediately. Yeah, this would be unfortunate there. 200 he plays rotating ball and just gonna catch the wave. Probably gonna rotate back mid. It, the, the really rough thing is that it is Tristana that got slow commit mid. She's a monster taking down turrets, and yeah, they did get the yeah, herald. Now they get, get the herald. Mid. And that's gonna be first that's tower gonna be going turret, over. Yeah. Are you white? Final yeah, chapter I don't think they to. Uh, it. Yes, sorry, final chapter's gonna zone them away. No Hecker ult. Can't really make yeah. a play with. You, Hecker, it's really hard for Hecarim to look for these plays with the Alley nearby because he can force the Hecarim uh, with the taunt towards him during the. And again, music is nice was using that ultimate just to zone away so that the Hecarim can get out safely. It's just it's just an extra safety net. I don't think it was needed, but it really doesn't matter as uh, music is nice as Yumi ultimate is coming up in about the next minute. So we'll be in time for those key fights, especially in the dragon coming up in about two and a half minutes. Our trip's trying to get picked up across the board. Onto onto Nethro, who did rush them earlier. Now Predictable has a pair of his own. And both supports actually I love me, Mark. Still no support item upgrade actually. Yeah, 457 versus oh, same same for both of them actually both 457. Oh, which is a bit interesting. Yeah, and now predictable. He's gonna get caught out a little bit. The knock up from the brittle is good. Yeah. He does know something's up because yeah. Orn typically would never go for a trade like that if his jungler oh, wait, wasn't whoa, whoa, in the area. Whoa, 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 Liz, uh, Liz is gone. Well, that's probably you have your support on upgrade, man. You just keep. He's, no words, and now they're gonna look for a dive. Onslaught of Shadows is good, but the bomb does go into the tower, but it's good enough. 0 oh 7 on a rampage now. 4 and 0. Already picked up the Kraken Slayer. Yeah, this really nice. Tank starting to well. run away with this game. And of course, 200 key oh. play smartly. TP's top. Make sure this counterplay does not work out for them. Or I'm gonna go ball lane to make sure that. Does not go down, but it's just gonna be a tree of TPs in mid to top. Problem is, Far but Farmingdale only got a teleport out of that out of that play. They were trying to d dive onto uh, predictable, but they just couldn't find the angle. And now with that, I soon enough, they're gonna, like they're, gonna, they're gonna have uh, yeah, they're gonna have Pryo over this dragon pit. When they go for it eventually, they're gonna spot this Viego in the top lane thanks to the war. Yeah, look at that. That's just gonna be Yeah, that's gonna be a call to just go for the drag dragon, maybe, unless predictable. He wants to stick around. This force to use a flash with a heartbreaker! I'm gonna shut him down. Yeah, that's second time in a row that the heartbreak was used to dodge out on that app and the dairy is working out really well for him. They're gonna pick up another kill from which is definitely not who you wanna see pick him up. Yeah, three and three. Probably, yeah, has the most gold on his own team. And as a matter of fact of how well he can use this to his advantage as 0 and 7. Might get clamped down here a little bit, but is aware that th there is some aggression towards this dragon. Farmington though, he, they're bringing the entire squad down. Galley ultimate is available. So Froggy can join the fight. Here comes the final chapter to start something off as Liz will be the first one to fall as the hero's entrance gonna be a little too late. The Ornhorn, he's gonna root up this bro, but the Chrono Shift, it's gonna be good. Oh, and seven though, in the meantime, he is just focusing down this boat, this Sivir, Bozen, isolated from his team. And it's gonna be a quick two kills in favor of Rutgers. Yeah, that's the power of that Zillion pick. This roll was a bit caught out there, but because he had the Zillion, it was just fine at the end of the day. He can play as up as he wants, as long as he knows he has the Chrono Shift backing him there. And yeah, just a one fight, gonna be two dragons to zero, 7k gold lead. 
just be, just off these turret plating. And 15 minutes. Like, yeah. It's only been 15 minutes, and Rutgers already with that 7,000 gold lead, like you said. That was what five plates mid, four plates bot, three plates top lane, on top of the six kills and and the turret they got earlier. Now they picked up a second. Uh, 7.2k gold lead now. Zillions cashed in the coal. That's one eight plus plus 180 gold right plus there. Plus 180 baby. Yeah, up 1400 on the mid laner right now. Uh, top jungle a bit even, but it's that it's that bot lane. Oh and seven five zero three rotated around bot in mid perfectly. Picked up nine plates for himself just about. Almost double the gold on the Siver. Gonna be uh two items and going LDR second. Which I believe is good here. Ooh, furious pings coming I in. I haven't checked the mass on LDR versus PD. Oh, wait a minute. Froggy, they were gonna go on to the Zillion, but Terrence, he's gonna get caught out a little bit. He had a Heartbreaker. Stratagus comes into safety, but it's not enough as Owen 7. He will get a kill. And now here comes the dive in the top side. Owen 7 is gonna actually tank the tower. He will drop it, pass it on to Predictable. But this juggling the tower, it's good as. 7 he's gonna get the tower and the kill as well. And, uh, he, I don't know what else to say. 7 0 Tristana. Oh, he's probably gonna have two items by the time he goes for the back. And just like that, they're just gonna run away with this game. Unless, uh, there's some sort of response coming in from Farmington. Probably yeah, one. Yes, this Galia pick is just not really working out. Just think about all the plays Galley's made had to make with your entrance. It's only been defensive ult so far, and sure, they got that play in the top lane, but that was just because he decided to sack away mid for that, and predictable. Tr the only reason predictable dies because he went back in. Meanwhile, the Cillian picks so constantly saving lives with the ulti. Enabling Nispril so well on the on the heck room. One one ten. Oh and seven sitting in the oh, shade right now. He's gonna yeah. go in for a two v one. Bows and does he have the spell shield to keep himself alive? Actually, no. And he's gonna live with a sliver of HP. Yeah, and one actually, more AD like would have probably killed him off. I do like the idea for the cleanse there. Looking at the map, no objectives up at all. This cleanse, you're seeing on seven hundred gold bad. This cleanse, the only thing keeping you between a potential comeback from Farmington College. Just want to be safe, make sure you don't toss the game away pointlessly. It does look like it's going to be IE third. Highest damage thing looks like you can get game as an AC, I believe. Oh, wait a minute. Horn. Looking for some aggression. 200 IQ plays will respect it. We'll use the Everfrost to get himself out. Yeah, or or Orn's not doing anything against this, against this uh, Zillion. Especially when he has the Everfrost has the CDR boost. There's no potential dive that can happen here. Um, he's uh, just gonna unless, block the wave. Unless they look for something right now. Here comes the Ornal into the stun. Does he have time to use it? No, he's not gonna have time to use that Chrono Shift. And he's gonna go down. I guess he just didn't expect their burst. I'm really surprised he didn't give him to the Billion ult fought. there. He also had Flash. I'm pretty sure he could have Flash to get himself out. Maybe even by time, but... Probably knowing that there's no one on this on Rutgers that was able to back him up. It's better that he saves the summoner for a better time. Yeah, luck salting for vision in the boss side of the jungle there. As predictable? Could look for something. Yes, the flash has the ghost. Tristana is on delay. Uh, here we go, the ghost is in. <laughs> yeah, race car noise is here. Chapter. Yep, the focus is gonna be Orn. Will oh, let Terrence live for the time being. And nothing all you can things do. onto the dragon. Yeah, just look, look at the boss side of the map, completely dark. How how in God's name does this Lux ever step up to get any sense of vision against a, a fed Tristana, against a, a Hecarim with Ghost up? Yeah, it's just, just impossible. just gonna get one shot. Doesn't matter. It, 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 it's very scary. All, it's everyone... not like Diego can go help, because he, he, he's getting one shot as well with that build. That's yeah. just not us. Orn could try to go, but he needs to get CS, he needs to get XP, he needs to get King Yorn, I am saying need, as, yeah, Bozen going towards the top lane there, gonna try to get an OBJ bounty for Farmington. 
try to claw the gold lead up. We're at 9.5k now. Oh, wait they are bleeding the away from mid. Good shoot the flash. We'll respect that. And two strike he plays. He wants to try to clear the wave, but it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, they're gonna get the uh, objective bounty here as Froggy. Gonna gonna get a face planted into the wall there. Uh, there's uh, they're investing a lot of resources into this top side. They only just need to buy they need time. A, yeah, they need a they need it back. Too much Aki plays. He's gonna find Froggy. The knockup misses actually, but the taunt is good. But what can, what more can they do? Here comes the heartbreaker, but. Jackie plays, he's got the flash, he's got the chrono shift, he can flash away at a gift any time, but it's not he's not he's gonna save it. Chris knows that his team is there to back him up. Nispro, he's gonna be there to just keep a two and Jackie plays alive. Now here it is, the fight comes in. Oh and seven in the meantime, he is ripping apart Farmington in the bot lane in the top side. Just everywhere Rutgers is dominating as Liz. He's gonna go down as well, and it's all up to this Orn. Owen oh, 7, he's gonna go for the jump. But he doesn't have enough damage to take him out. The bomb, not gonna get the reset yet. It's just gonna, he's just gonna be able to walk it out just fine. But... That's a Baron, that's their dragon. That's, that's all the bot lane turrets in him completely open. The game not working out. They got set way too far behind it now. Tristan is just freely play pushing. Vivor can't do anything about it at all. She's just gonna get stat checked. Look at that three items. Sorry, thirteen thousand gold lead. Yeah, probably gonna be rapid fire force most likely. Just to make sure Tristan doesn't need to get into the range of this Galio. Or I would be shocked to see it as shocked to see it turn into a PD. It's looking like a PD. Usually you don't get 4th, 5th item. I know a lot of ADCs have actually started to favor the rapid fire can, especially at Worlds here. Yeah. We've been seeing it on Lucian a fair bit uh, as a second item, just to make sure you can get all your damage off. I think we've seen it a couple games on Aphelios as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm trying to find this horn. But he's going to yeah, he, teleport he, away. Yeah, he snuck that. He snuck out. Predictable pings on pings on the bush, but he, Horn's long gone. He's teamed out. I'm not sure if they know that though. I think they just gave up. Now they're gonna go up towards the top side. Which your place is gonna get jumped on here? There's three members of Farmington coming for the Zillion, but Zillion the does Zillion. level yeah, three E. It's kind of hard for Viego to stick on to him. Look at that, all all this manpower going up to the top side, not getting anything. 0-7 and, and this roll. They're gonna take good care of this top side jungle on the side of Farmington. And it, yeah, it, it, they really just can't leave the base at this point. They don't have much vision, they don't have anything to work with. And now Terrence, he's the one gonna get caught up here. It's gonna get CC'd up by the Everfrost, but another good combo coming in from Too Much Jackie Plays, and Terrence, yeah, yeah, he's got he's got no way out. Everyone else is in base. This is always a minor annoying thing. When, when you're winning so hard and you have the Baron 325, you don't have the cannon spawning every single wave, so it is a bit hard to flush, especially in the champions like the Sivir, who does pick up the Wormfall and Sacrifice, the upgrade Cracking Slayer. The only name oh I do know off the top of my head. Oh my god, look at it, look at this, double... Tristan has got double the items of uh, a Sivir and now Predictable. He might get caught out here, TPs are coming in! Rockers want to commit to this fight, here comes Tuan Shaiki plays, the stun is there, the exhaust onto the Zillion, Hero's entrance, not gonna be in time as Tuan Shaiki plays, is gonna pop the Chrono Ship, but he doesn't go down, and Predictable, is he gonna go down because of a good spell shield coming out of Bozen to deny the dunk coming in as Predictable, he's gonna get knocked up, the Heartbreaker goes in, and Terrence will be able to pick up that kill, but he still gets stunned up by the time bomb on this roll. He, now it's his turn, but whose turn really is it as Owen 7 he's just ripping apart this Orn, and now everyone else on Farmington is already dead, Terrence 
literally a walking zombie at this point as he's gonna go down as well. An ace for Rutgers and I think this might be it. Unless uh, Froggy and Liz are able to defend this 2v4 at the moment. But 0-7. Uh, 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 yeah, this, this, this fight's well over for 0-7. She has clenched his flash up. This, yeah, he's this got, means oh, yeah, look him. at... This is it. <laughs> Looks like the answer might be no, as uh, he's gonna respect the box, he's gonna respect the tower damage for now. Yeah, Fortune does not look like they can end, they can end here trying to replace him. At this Blood point, Salt I think Owen 7 away. is gonna 1v- Owen 7 is gonna 1v5 this at this point, but he's gonna back away, letting this pro pick up that dragon soul. Red team has slain the dragon. With that, gonna back and get VF Sword now. Four and a half items to the two in scraps. I, I believe that's now All officially right. double the gold. Oh, about 800 off, but still. That is an absurd gold lead in the bottom that is, lane. That is insane. Literally counts for about half of the gold lead <laughs> in its entirety. Oh my god. All right, now now we got now we got to figure out uh, what's this uh, what's this uh, VF sword gonna be? Uh, oh, that's a BT on down, right? Actually, could be the GA. It, it, it very well could be. It very well could be the GA to make sure. Yeah. Pull the bag. Oh. Oh uh, no. This game is a bit. Oh, he's gonna dance. Uh, <laughs> he knows. This game's a he bit knows. hard to lose. <laughs> this game's a bit. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Nispro knows that, so he intentionally uh, whiffed his ulti there. It's true. Oh, it doesn't dodge anything. Yeah. <laughs> Try to, it's, it's the thought that counts. You know? Yeah, 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 yeah. And they're gonna go for this, uh, they're, they're gonna, they're gonna thoroughly, uh, dismantle Farmington that's... right now. They're gonna go for that third inhibitor up in the top lane. That's the, uh, uh that's actually, the crit damage uh... buff from Wild Go on Tristani. Alright, alright, let's see it, 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 0-7! Is this the Penta? No, it's not going to be uh, so predictable. Uh, he, he says he wants his own Penta, oh, and uh, oh, what the? Yeah, that that Chrono Shift's not going to work at the Fountain. But either way, game number one's going to go over to Rutgers. Twenty-seven minutes with a whopping almost twenty thousand gold lead. That is unheard of. That was a bit of a stomp. <laughs> that was a bit of a roll and a half. If I if I uh, say so myself, thirty, almost thirty three k damage on the on the Tristana. Oh my, yeah. Oh, <laughs> it was kind of just smurfing, <laughs> running well, around killing whoever he wanted. He could have been fifteen and zero, but uh, he ints into the tower, and now he's fifteen and one. So uh, very sad times. Very sad times, but I mean, that is going to be a 1 0 lead here for Varsity White going into game two. Other than that, I believe we're going to have a small break as we wait for them to get into draft. So, see you then.
Welcome back. Game two. We got... Yes, hello, hello. We got Varsity White sticking it to the red side this game. Ganky often draft, alright. We'll see if there are any adaptations going on. Probably gonna be a Seraphine ban once more for a side of Varsity White. But I do want to see if Burlington are gonna make any adaptations here. So far, so far everything's... Has... Everything has been the same as game number one. Oh, okay. Uh, of, of course, the moment I say that, something different happens. The Hecarim you know, from game one is going to be gone. Back when I played comp, there was a, I always had one rule, and it was if the enemy team has a zillion picker, ban that shit. Because no one likes playing in zillion. Of course, you could always maybe pick up Silas to yourself, but man, is that champion on fun playing? And I'm actually surprised <laughs> that they... Banned out the Hecarim because I feel like Hecarim was not. I think the Hecarim was the least of their problems, personally. Yeah. It was not that big of an issue compared to uh, Varsity White's Tristana rotations around the map. Early like, game gang, that snowballing. Would this be a Nisbral Echo angle? You know, well, I looked at his match history, bro. He was. Uh, I saw some uh, Blitz Jungle games in there. Oh. So. <laughs> no way. He's going to whip it out here. Uh, yeah, I'm just saying, uh, I, I might have hopped in his DM and said, hey, maybe, uh, sh show us the Kha'Zix, bro, show us the Kha'Zix. Well, yeah, I recently rewatched the, uh, isolate, the Kha'Zix Isolation Community montage. Great montage, by the way, recommend. Mm -hmm. But, Ash, Ash pick, come, come in for Farrington Utility. Of course, Seraphine was left open, and I'm really surprised that they didn't first pick. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't go for that. I, yeah, what their thought process could be is that, you know, on seven he really hard carried on that Tristan pick. So maybe if we just let him have the Seraphine, let him have this pick that does more enabling rather than carrying. Uh, this this is probably gonna be your best chance to get game two for ourselves, which is a fine thought process. I think it's just that comfort is all playing someone on their comfort is always pretty scary. Yeah. So far, oh right, that from game number one, that Aatrox was banned out. Is is predictable gonna get on that Aatrox? Yes, he will. Aatrox, Aatrox not okay. as right. strong as he was on the world patch, I'd say, because there were the Eclipse nerfs as well as the passive nerfs, which did chuck him down about two percent win rate, I'd say. So he's still a very nice blind pick. Not sure if that. Find that, that important to pick it early as opposed to picking more important supports. You go through Seraphim, maybe you pick up a Senna, maybe you pick just go Yumi again. You could, and they're gonna respond with the Orn, yeah. Okay, Aatrox does not the worst, has, yeah. Aatrox has a bit of a hard time killing tanks, especially with Eclipse getting nerfed, and he also sustains a lot less just because of the passive nerf on top. Mm -hmm. So... Hey, they are just going to go once again for this scaling draft. Fuck me. I love and they're going to go for... Oh, not... Oh, not... Hmm. Nautilus. Does add to that front line and the CC, but... Right now, yeah. uh, they're... Farmington are not doing so well in damage. So they need to, uh... Go for something, and yeah. We have... There has been that Ash Heimer combo in the bot lane, but I guess uh, Liz probably not too yeah, comfortable not too, on it. Not too great into the Seraphine either. Oh, you have that whoa! Bot lane. This is such an obnoxious okay. bot lane, bro. Okay. This is such an obnoxious this bot is, lane. Uh, welcome to Sonateric uh, 2.0, I guess. There is nothing Nautilus can do in the lane. Taric outboxes him at all stages of the game. It's just a d d eat him for breakfast. We need, we, need, we, need to get the, we need to get that viewer count going up. This is this is already a spicy game. <laughs> we we need we need that. What are what are we this, at right now? Like Noth pick is not going to uh, top it off maybe go Silas mid. You oh, do have some really 20. nice engage ulties here for yourself. Did I hit forget to hit transition by the way? I um, didn't. I'm on I'm on a hot streak right now. Hold on. <laughs> So if you go in the... Up, oh, there we go. There's the Zillion, man. Yeah, probably gonna be Silas as well. Nautilus ult, Ash ult, Ornolt, all incredible ultis. 
I know I Ashel was... has what 100 percent AP ratio, and is three highest. Oh, oh no 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 no! Oh please! Oh no! Just oh this no! Once. Are they Just doing this it? Once. Please, please, please do it! Come on! I, I bet one of the please. players is watching our stream. Oh. No! Come on! Come on! Come on, Nor! Come on, Nor! I know you wanna. Come on, man! Come on, man! You have five seconds. Come on! Come on! Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. We we get we get the Nispril Echo. That's good enough. We'll 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 take that. We'll take that. All right. We almost saw the Nispril over Blitz. It. I don't care for this game anymore. I'll be honest. Not not even the Echo's gonna. Maybe maybe maybe, maybe I'll just keep the camera panned off of Jungle. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna be Nispril's panned Echo. You know, Huge you Echo know, fanatic. You know, you know, One trick. You know. What's it called? Uh, I was gonna say Farmington oh, could God, pick it for please the. Don't go. Please, <laughs> please oh. don't go. Please don't go, Lee. Sit here. That is. I don't know. Lee Sin's a yikes uh, here. Uh... Lee Sin is a big <laughs> yikes here. Y y you're right. I don't. I don't know about what that. Do you use Victor mid? What do you round off this comp with? It's. There's just. It's it's. it's... This I don't think they comp. have the damage to chew through the Seraphine Taric shielding. Syndra. And 2 inch IQ plays. Now it's yeah, his they, turn they to need flip some AD for champion. Here, so. Oh, yes, the Akshan. Lucian mid ain't too good anymore. Gonna <laughs> go back to the Akshan here. Gonna look to get his fellow laners ahead. And 2 inch IQ plays locks in Harbor from Valorant. <laughs> Or sorry, Akshan from League of Legends. But I don't know. I have a couple words to say about uh, Farmington's team comp right now. From what I'm seeing, they they're going for a really they're they're going all in for pick for a pick comp. Like they want to find some something with the Ash Arrow followed up with Nautilus combo. Then Lee Sin comes in, does a lot of single target damage. Syndra and it comes in for the execute. They have a lot. To work with to get multiple picks, but when it comes to team fights, it's there. But I, I I don't I don't see this Lee Sin doing much. This Nautilus really doing anything really. I feel like those two are just gonna get absolutely popped. But then again, this is all theory. Reality is always amazing. Ah shit! Hit the wrong button. I think I leaked. Okay. <laughs> I think I leaked the league DMs. <laughs> oh no, it's okay. Feltrick has been exposed. GG. We we must cancel him on Twitter now. It's uh, over. You cancel me, bro. <laughs> GGs. All right, now we got to the uh, for real draft this time around. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um. Uh, well, is there anything else you want to say about the the team comps coming into this, Keldrick? Well, it's going to be a rough one for Farmington. You don't really have the mid proud just because Akshan is Akshan. Uh, sure, you have Ash, which should do fine into the uh, Seraphine Taric. Don't really have the kill potential, but this Nolith pick's not gonna really be able to get much done in lane, so I won't be surprised to see him try to roam the map. Maybe go mid, try to make a play there. <clears throat> or maybe just do invade the jungle with the Lee Sin, because if you do lock down this Echo, the slippery pick here, it's gonna be very uh help you help your Lee Sin very easily. But you are looking down the barrel of of Two lanes are gonna lose the push if you're Lee Sin, and soon to be three once Seraphine gets her lost chapter, her tear on her on her uh, back. Gonna make it very very rough. Other than that, looking forward to a good game too. So we'll see you then. With uh, once the draft wait time is complete.
In uh, three, one, oh. <clears throat> All right, I kind of did that shit in the wrong order. They heard the count time, but who cares? We're in it. Yeah, game, yeah, we, we, game we, two, we game this. two, game two, game two. Game two of three. But this is a best of three, so if uh, Wreckers win this one, uh, they they win the series. Welcome to Summoner's Rift. But then again. Farmington, on the blue side, could have a way of coming back from this. Nisbrol does spot uh, five funny people in, not in their uh, supposed places, and uh, they're gonna drop a warden back out. Right now, Keldrick is absolutely fuming. They didn't get to see Nisbrol on the uh, Blitzcrank. I'm only typing a couple messages. They're gonna make yeah. play it a bit safe here. Uh, because they did spot five, they are gonna get the warden. Uh, no sweepers on the side of Any. Uh, Farmington College, so they won't be able to spot out. Both junglers seen. Yeah. So they do have the access to the exact same info. They'll know that Leeson's starting top side, they'll know Echo's starting top side. Big leash side of Carrington. Ash is gonna be going to Ghost Witch. I'm pretty sure has fallen out of favor with the uh, Zeri Zeri Silver gang nerf. You don't really oh, yeah. necessarily see those see that summoner I see anymore, even though I think it's still fine. Even if it, if it was even if it was a bit flavor of the month. Predictable gonna get a short trade here, has opted in for the Ignite lane. Both top players going for the E Shield Atrox. Uh, I'm not sure if it's well known, but he has incredibly low uh, base health regen just because of his passive. And so definitely, uh, yeah, no, definitely uh, Farmington wants to find a way to get a pick comp going that's exactly what they want to do they have so much so much resources available to them to get to just single out an enemy and just absolutely burst them down but if they can't do that this this team comp just falls apart and that's probably the hardest thing for farmington right now it's keeping that keeping that lead and just get that momentum 
So it looked like Ninja went for the boat plating in the flame. As the Esperal spotted out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Terrence. He got first blood like this last time, and he's it's his turn. He's gonna get first blood now. Too much IQ plays. He's gonna flash over, over the wall. He's gonna fly in, get that reset off, and he's gonna find a kill onto Terrence. He still has his uh grapple. Yep, he's gonna use it now. But here comes Froggy. But the stun is good. The final auto onto two from 200 IQ plays. It's good as well as 200 IQ How plays. He is, is doing his he's doing his best attack on Titan impression. He's gonna get probably another kill. The Knight and the Red Buff gonna tick down and that's gonna be three kills going over the 200 IQ plays. Maybe even a fourth if he wants to go for the aggression, but he's not gonna go for it. Catastrophe. Absolute catastrophe. Double buff's gonna go back at the very Oh my least, god, there's even I more think... content coming in. This bro gonna get one under the tower, and Terrence, he does find another kill onto 200 Aggie Blaze. It's a good shutdown, but he's gonna get traded immediately. Seven kills in four minutes now. You know what we call that? We call it a buff transfer complete. 0 and 7, taking up the double buffs. 200 Aggie Blaze, tier 2 boots. Double longsword at four minutes, man. This is a nightmare scenario. If you're the really? side of Farmington, this he is the, the last uh, thing you want to happen. Yeah, he had the option of going for the Noon Quiver. I'm pretty sure he had enough gold for that. But instead goes for the uh, double longsword with the tier two boots, like yeah, you said. Yeah, tier two and... boots helps you dodge out yeah. on so much of Sindra's damage. Boots too, so important against this champion. Because they're orbs. As long as you're able to evade them, you're just running oh, the lane. Oh, predictable! He interrupts the, he interrupted the dash with the sweet spot. I would have gone for that flash for day. Ooh, yeah, the ignite. He could have gone for it. But it's fine. You get the free flash. You have your own. You can look for the kill with your little six time for free later on. And it does look like uh, Terence is farming away at that Grom while while Nispril is right next door. Finally spotted out. The yeah, control ward, it's gonna help him. Look at Terrence, though. Mm -hmm. He's hunting. not level five. Yeah, she doesn't really have the points. Wait a minute. So the point from a wave. plays. He's gonna be into the fight first. Nispro. Ooh. Terrence yeah, just just barely gets away. Nispro forced to use his flash. That's what we're talking about. What I was talking about earlier. Draft until Seraphine gets that. Level, level 5 just about gets her lost chapter, gets the tier. And Ash Nautilus will have to push, it frees up Terrence to go for these invades. And as we saw there, they got the flash from this girl. They're gonna look for Liz, but barely gonna get out of there. But here comes the CC. Ooh, Liz. In a world well, of hurt, the blast cone doesn't get himself to safety. The ignite comes in. Um, no defensive from, summoner yeah, on from Ash. He's nice. He's gonna get the kill. Good dodge on the top side, but predictable. He's gonna go down. Yeah, not too much damage for uh, predictable to handle, and he will go down for free. Looks like Tone Trek he oh, plays wait. did skill. Uh oh, Rosen. Parallel convergence. Gonna give him the shield, and there we go. Quick pickup for yeah, this scroll, not, but the, oh, I'm execute. not sure why you think it's nice tanked the tower there. Uh, yeah, only seven got two shot by turret. <laughs> that was two fully stacked shots right into his dome. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. One two it's, with uh... the Mac. He's gone. No, no, no. It's okay. It was an execute. It was an execute, but. I, was, I believe that was still local XP going over to Ash. He does have the lost chapter now, though. And of course, Nispro himself also feasting a bit. 3 1 1. I believe he does run Treasure Hunter nowadays on the Echo, as opposed to the Ultimate. Yeah, so he's cashing out with that rune. He is officially. Oh, 150 gold up on the who does have 3 kills himself. Don't you play it? Then we got spotted. Taking a hook shot over. I don't see some uh, strange events happening in the top side. They have a general idea that Terrence is in that uh, tri bush. But other than that, nothing else will happen for the time being. He's, he's nice. He's hunting. Oh, he's hunting for a ward. Yeah, but right now Dragon's gonna get the wave in. Chatted yeah, uh, by his jungler, ooh. so he feels nice and safe. Look, look at the padding in the top side. Yeah, Nispril is uh, 
doing some alcove gaming. Yeah, they don't ever get this playoff, but he just wants to make sure Lee Sin can get a cheeky playoff onto him there. Lee Sin yeah. needs to farm up his bot side. Should be hitting six soon as well. Yeah, just hits it off that red right there. Yeah, they're gonna they're gonna make a they're gonna make a swift move onto the herald. Kings are coming in on the side of Farmington. They are aware that this is going down. Lee Sin is already moving up towards the top side. Syndra has to push that way first before moving up as well. But look at where Toonshaki places. He is nowhere near this Baron. If everyone from farming team comes in, it's going to be a 2v3. And Sonic Wave does connect. And the kick is good. Terrence will be able to shut down the Echo. And a, bit, a little bit of a miscommunication, it feels like, coming out of Rutgers. Toonshaki place was nowhere to be seen. Yeah, or that maybe Herald he was play. trying to catch out a rotation from the ball lane. But even then, that was a bit suspect. I guess we're all gonna go down. Predictable got sent sky high just because he had the uh, the brittle passive on him. It's always a bit funny to see Dorney send people that high. And here comes the old pop, yeah. Ooh, the world ender coming in. Predictable gonna get ignited quite early. The Sonic Wave connects! This guy's on fire right now. Music is nice though. He's taking tower. There's a tower dive coming down to the bot lane. Bozen, he is not gonna be able to survive this, and he will go down once again. Yeah, it's just a story of two lanes. Jungle plate for top for the side. Of Farmington and mid jungle play for bot for the side of Rutgers, Varsity White, 05 bot lane versus 02 top lane. But they do get the plate uh, the entire turret, but both his money's going on to Leeson and Orin. Meanwhile, it's gonna be 200 Q plays at some mate and Ispo that are major benefactors from Stab's bot. They're good. These two champions are, are a lot more impactful when ahead as opposed to Mason and Orin. And so sure, Predictable might have a rough lane top lane, but at the end of the day it's Orin. He can't really he can't really push for any objectives without with how slow he pushes. And meanwhile, turn three plays, he has Pyro mid, he can look three plays top, look three plays bot. Syndra can't ever really match him in the push, because she is always at risk of dying herself. Yeah. And while it is nice, Lee Sin is dead. Yeah, he's got At the board drinker time, already. It's so hard for him to make these plays into a Seraphine Terran duo. We'll see how he places out. 35 and 2, he's got the Mythic already. The first person to do so in the game. And now Terrence, he's gonna be in a lot of trouble, or is he? Too much IQ plays. He's gonna get taken down dangerously low in this world, though. He's here to clean up. Oh, unless... Oh, the arrow! And the final auto! What just happened? That's a quick double kill going over to Farmington. I take it all back. Lee's the is... best champion in the game. I take it all back. <laughs> Never mind. Okay, no, gonna, no, Terrence no, is going to no, take no, over the rift. No. I'm going to get a t-shirt really quick. Hold on. Let me, uh, go, to, let me go to Ink to Puss or something. Oh my Puss god, ink. what a I shot coming going. in from Bozen. Actually... Yeah, picks up a kill for himself. That's definitely gonna help him. It does bring him even in gold to the Seraphine. And it's gonna be about a 2k gold lead. A 1.5k gold lead for Farmington College. Oh. Oh. E oh. Q. Smart ult to try to prevent it, and yeah, he's gonna be able to get out. Just really well played from that Aldous. Oh, wait a minute, that's when IQ plays. He might be in a bit of a trouble. Terrence, he's gonna land literally everything. Yeah. And we'll be able to secure a shut another kill. Not even a shutdown, we already got that shutdown. This is another kill going over to this Lee Sin. Seven and two already as predictable. He's forced to pop the world ender, <laughs> but the Orn misses the second part of the ultimate, and it might cost him his life. And there we go. Music is nice, though. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. The Cosmic Radiant's going to be able to buy a little bit of time. But he is still going to go down, most likely. Final auto coming in from Bozen will be able to do so. And now Owen 7 He does have the ultimate to work with. Chrono Break available for Nisperl, but they don't have anything to work with here. And now Farmington, they have a lot of control in this early game. My head hurts from that Orin ult, I'll be honest. I'm still trying to process it. <laughs> <laughs> that was just that like... was a that, that was a 
very considerable uh, just to blunder. Yeah, it looks like Lee Sin pick gonna pick up a yeah, mob now Morius. She's very nice here. Cause sure the Octron is fed, but at the same time, it's kinda hard for him to get damage on a Lee Sin. Especially if Orin and Nautilus are diving onto the back line. However, Predictable does pick up the flips. Was nerfed, still pretty nice on Aatrox. Yeah, it does give Definitely. you that extra armor pen still. This is really what you want it for. The Omnivamp is good, synergizing with his E passive. But. Right now. Terrence making a play towards top lane. Yeah, Terrence is making a play, but he does get spotted out by the Scryer's Bloom. Thanks to 200 IQ plays in this pro. Trying to go for some sort of opportunity down the bot side. He will find Liz, but the Blast Cone is there to get him to safety. 0-7. Looking for the ultimate, but it only hits the Nautilus just barely. It raises by Bozen and now Froggy. A very early stopwatch. But then again, look at the plays, the rotations coming in from Farmington. They want to look for this dragon coming up in 40 seconds. If any member of Rutgers goes down right now, it's going to be quite catastrophic in terms of get, securing dragon. This Nisqral, he's going to be able to get the smite off. Chrono Break is there, but there's just too much damage coming in from this Lee Sin. He will be able to secure that kill. He is dominating with this Lee Sin triple long swords in his inventory. Yeah, well, he 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 he's the entire gold lead and more. This Lee Sin, eight two two Terrence one, didn't get the blue, did get the kill, and that is gonna be priority on the dragon. Probably gonna pick up some cells. Mount Drake gonna be so so helpful into this team, especially when you have right. more on it. Yeah, right now, Rutgers just needs to bunker down. They have the leaking potential. They have the so the um, I just call Seraphine Sona. Seraphine. Yeah, it's Seraphine and the Taric. They're gonna provide so much utility in the late game. Literally, if they just stay alive, keep this game under control, nobody on Rutgers is gonna die in the late game. But right now, that is not the case. This Lee Sin is already becoming a very big problem. And they have to find ways to just just stall it out, turtle this momentum that the Farmington are forming. But uh, Nisbro, he's gonna look for a play. The flash comes in from Envy Froggy, but it doesn't even matter. Oh wait, the Ash Arrow going to be used to disengage. Oh, the second Ash Arrow! Oh my, oh my god! god. <laughs> Flying right on by. Oh my god! Free assist. But Terrence, ooh, oh wait, the Sonic Blade doesn't. Does still connect, but Terrence, he wants okay, to keep going. Hornhorn coming the in. They don't oh, see wait a minute. Him. Oh, sidestep coming in from Predictable. The Cosmic Radiance is going to buy a lot of time. This though, he doesn't get the benefit from the invulnerability, and he's going to have to be forced away from this team fight, as will the rest of Rutgers. They do not want to fight with a man disadvantage. Predictable doesn't have the ult here. Oh, sorry. Retired. <laughs> Predictable doesn't have the ulti that a lot of his fight oh. strength is tied to it. Flash. Oh, here comes e. the flash engage coming in from Orn. But look at that. Terrence but Lee Sin Q hit Lee Sin Q yeah. hit the minion, so he's actually gonna make it out just oh my fine. God. Wait a minute, Too Too much he plays. Plays. the he's reset. Gonna... Oh my god, the res yeah, the reset's gonna come in huge, but here comes a big Nautilus ultimate, but this bro, he's gonna go in, he's gonna try to find one, but he's gonna go down with his own life. Three for two. It seems like, in, no, it's going to be a two for two off of that skirmish, but Farmington, they're going to get this top tier two, and Predictable was nowhere to be seen in that team fight. is already split pushing in the bottom side of the map, trying to do what he can to try to trade it away, but that was way too worth for Farmington. Now they're up, it's only, it's only a thousand gold ahead, so the game is still pretty much dead even. But with this Lee Sin, it does not seem like the case. Here comes the Ash Arrow. Does it land onto the Aatrox? Yes, it does. But the uh, Merc Treads putting in its work, putting in its value, as well as his Tenacity runes. Yeah, I'm flinching. Tenacity. <laughs> Mercs, yay. 40% Tenacity right there. 51. 51? Is that 51? Yeah, 51. Oh, yeah, it is. I'm rolling. 
my math is whack. Didn't end the shade, that's for sure. Looks like turn tree play is gonna work towards a uh, wit's end there. Let's gotta help him with Sindra who did go for the penetration focus looting so echo. So <clears throat> sorry. Oh, Loon's Tempest. And then Keon rework. A great change. Ooh, oh, Tem Terrence oh, gonna find the Sonic Ter Wave. Predictable yeah. gonna whiff on the W and... Oh my! Yeah, he's, he's gone. My Ma Ma are also gonna get picked up by uh, Terrence and now Owen 7. He's gonna get bursted out quite immediately. So much damage coming in from MV that Froggy. And, and it's the pick comp. The pick comp is coming into fruition. It, they're in Farmington. They're, they're making this work. We did say it was going to be very difficult for them to work this out, but right now they are in a very good position. Yeah, 13 KP Lee Sin, your dream jungler on the rift. He's Make got three sense. items. Yeah, three items. He's got the chainsword already. But right now in this brawl, and Miles burnt his flash in last play on the 200 key plays. You need to remember that if he doesn't have it, he's still going to be able to make it just fine, but it's at the cost of a stop on you. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> his ult was back up. That's messed up. The amount of ability haste on this man is insane. That cool, that Dragon's Rage is on a 47 and a half second cooldown. Yeah. This guy is, uh... On another level right now, 11 and 2, 3 items already. 79 and... haste will do that to you. I want someone going to do his best to wave clear from afar. It's just always so risky when this Lee Sin, this monster, oh man, it's just running around the map and killing everyone. You just need to buy time if your Ruxer is first too late, you know? Not looking to fight for now. You just need to get to a, uh, two items, that should be the same spot. Another tower falls on the side of Rucker's White. Four towers to two. Now Dragon coming up in the next five seconds. Does Rucker's want to fight this? I don't think they should. But it is up to them for to decide if they want to go for this or not. This bro is way out in the top lane. It doesn't seem like Rucker's White want to do anything regarding this Dragon as the Unleashed Power going to be used to chunk him down. As they're gonna go for the engage instead of the dragon. They don't want the dragon, they want to get the kills, and here comes the cosmic radiance. Good charm onto three as well as the stun. Too much IQ plays with the come up and he's gonna try to do something. Just enough damage. To try to do something. At the very least, good parallel convergence coming out of this world. The stun's coming in. Terrence going to be contained for the time being. The scattered weak doesn't quite land. Music is nice though. He's gonna go for a nice stun. There it is, the rest comes in for Predictable, and Rutgers are slowly turning it around. The Lee Sin goes down, and it's just Mr. Froggy gonna flash away, but it's gonna be enough to keep him alive, but... What a turnaround coming in for Rutgers. Yeah, that was massive. That was a three-man Seraphine three-man stun. Aatrox was able to get all of his damage off before dying in the ulti. Of course, to top off, off the cherry on top, Auction gets his revive, gets his bonus gold. Predictable back on the map already. Yeah, and Predictable. Course, he's he's that, picked up the Seraldas. This man is. Uh, he, he's got he's got a lot of uh, armor penetration. He's at 34 percent. That's about a 2k gold swing on top of them getting the drain. Because as we saw there, uh. Farmington didn't get the Drain at the end of the day. They rotated mid to stop the play from happening, but Sindri didn't have the ulti for that fight at all. The, uh, the start tool was uh, just a disaster because of the look onto the auction. It looked nice at first. You had the one ult onto two. You saw Akshan messed up his E, so he didn't really go anywhere. But that counter gets bonus was so crucial in making that fight pan out. And now look, two, two times by come in for every single member except for me, the support. Uh, as music is nice, does work towards his Fimble Winter, which I'm pretty sure is not the greatest, but fine. Yeah, Wits it's, it's and It's just for the mana. Too much I can play, so he is in a bit of trouble. The Nautilus Ultimate is going to land. Here comes the Seraphine Ultimate, but too much I can play. He's going to get singled out. No Cosmic Radiance for the time being, as Nisbro, he is going to have to force a Chrono Break, as MV Froggy going to use the Zanyas to keep himself alive. Now predictable. Here he comes with the World Ender. Terrence going to be the main target. He goes back in. He's going to... 
dash away. 0-7, he's gonna get one kill, but it's gonna get immediately traded by Terrence. The Orenhorn also coming in from the other side, predictable. He's the main target, he's the one with the Omni Vamp. Is he gonna have enough damage to flash in with the Q3? He's gonna be able to burst down Wiz, but Terrence with the Maw will be able to get himself out, but the Orn already used his flash. He's gonna get stunned up, a double kill for this Aatrox. What a fight from him. Thank God they nerfed heal cutting Dan. Where would we be? Where would we be without the, the heal cutting nerf? Because holy, holy, that was a lot of health bars going up and down like a roller coaster. 0 and 7, com almost completely untouched enough by so many double W's gang off. I'm, uh, uh, predictable came in late. There weren't really many cooldowns to prevent him from getting all of his damage off. And of course, uh, I believe Bozen got picked off by a stray Q from Seraphine. I wasn't sure, but she went, uh, Ash went down to the Seraphine there towards the end of the fight. They were just able to turn on to the Orin at the very end. Just great play coming up from Varsity White there. Still about 700 gold behind. But that was a really nice looking fight for Farmington. The fact that they still lost it, very, very bad sign for them. Right now it's going to be a vision fight towards this Baron. To which I place is in a bit of a sticky spot, but does have to hookshot himself out. Look at that, Black Lever complete for Lee Sin. Four items. Oh god. Oh my god, yeah. Black Lever is definitely going to help his team, uh... Cut through some of that tankier. Yeah, I'm sure it's like in. the Ashko Arena and Turk in here just because you're you're still looking down the barrel of three melees. You get a lot of value out of having to slow. Definitely not a not a bad pickup, but right now Rutgers are slowly but surely taking over this topside river. They want this dragon or baron. So damn badly. And just look at, let me just toggle the vision so you can only see what Farmington see. It's just, they have the single pink port, but once that's gone, that's it. Looking at Blue Trink, it's none up, only the award on the lease, and he really wants to save that for playmaking since he used the flash last fight. They're gonna try and make his way in. Look at that, Terrence. Checking into four. Come up and pop. Yeah, he's gonna get pulled back. Oh, that, that is not the best way to go e down in this fight. Nice, as the rest of the two man just run down this fight. No fed we sin. That's a go button for Rutgers. No doubt about it. Liz trying to Spider Man their way out, but looks like this Nautilus will be taken out. As does Froggy. Will get stunned up just to get locked in for too much IQ plays. Just to get a free kill. The the shield that just completely negates the unleashed power, and now this Ash, you got nowhere to go. Uh, uh, let's just say uh, Lee Syndrome was the was the cause of that. Yeah, and also I just point out beautiful E flash music is nice. Double stun onto both carries that the Syndra and Ash stuck onto the glacial arc and slow field there. Just completely locked down. And of course, the vision play. Terrence took, he thought they were baiting closer to the Baron, but they were all waiting by the Raptor Piss when we took the Q in. Snap, just four people on top of him. No way to get out of there. Just gets bursted down. Yeah, I, this is a bit of a questionable play coming out of Terrence there. I didn't even notice he landed that first Q. I just kind of saw him fly in out of nowhere and was just like, what? what, what? Well, what, like, what, what was the reason for that? Well, Gonna what, be soul was... point picked up for Varsity White here. One more and they get the pretty gutted ocean soul predictable. Intern gets gunned down. Speaking of predictable, he gets uh, disconnected. I guess we're still waiting for him to come back as uh, it's been three minutes probably and this guy has not come back just yet. A summoner has reconnected. Oh. Seen signs of life from this Aatrox. But overall, like, what we said in the early game, Rutgers have been doing a pretty decent job at it. They, we, we, told, we basically said we, Rutgers should just tank 
what they can, just try to s slow down that momentum that Farmington were having, and they end up doing just that, and now, with a 3k gold lead on the side of uh, Rutgers, things are not looking too good for Farmington. Already, the death cap picked up for the Seraphine. And uh, we uh, freeze for a bit. The pause following the pause, as inevitable as water during rain. I'm glad they haven't fixed this bug. <laughs> oh, wait. And we're back. Four sweepers on the side of Varsky White. They're really looking to play around this vision here. The vision denial as Chunchi oh, plays. Yeah. Spotted yeah, out. Gonna get, yeah, he's gonna get spotted out. Look at that. Oh, Akshan's such a gold champ, yo. So we're gonna give a three path shield. We're gonna give him boost speed as well. Alright, nice, nice. Yeah, if, <laughs> but honestly, if everyone on Wreckers just stays together and fights front to back, yeah, he might be Yeah, he might be They are as well. Yeah, the amount of utility coming in from Music is Nice and 017 is just way too much for uh, Farmington to handle, I suppose, and I guess I'm not this tower. Farmington, though, Sindra was able to push out the entire bot wave, so that's going to delay any form of bot push ever, so at most they can go for a 1 4 here. They do have not the Graze wave clear, but Ash should be able to hold down the fort just fine. Dream Plagues, meanwhile, getting Flash Evil, Ooh, look at that reaction flash. time. But the okay. Ash Arrow! Uh, it's gonna land, as okay, will then. every other freaking ability at Farmington's disposal just to shut down this Akshan. But now it's gonna be Nispril in a lot of trouble as the Nautilus Ultimate gonna connect, but does have the Chrono Shift, or the Chrono Break, I'm sorry. I actually need to be careful of the ulti here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, the Chrono Break. Yeah, Bozen will get bursted out, but it's not gonna be enough damage as uh, two picks coming in on the side of Farmington. Now Predictable gonna be in a lot of trouble. Good flash kick, but the Omni Vamp is there. Wiz, he's gonna get ignited, taken out. Good flash coming out of Predictable to get himself out. Even sidesteps the Sonic Wave and will be able to probably get himself out unless he gets stunned up, but there's a the utility coming in from 0-7. Does catch out the Ash with the ultimate. Rapidon, Death Cap, Seraphine, such a strong champion, AP skilling are deceptively great on her, as you saw there, Ash just getting vanquished and like that. Also, Aatrox is going to pick up a small heal from her as well. That Death Dance paying off in spades there for the mid-play onto him. Ooh, the Ornn items are starting to come in though. Upgraded Gore Drinker coming in for Terrence. But here comes Terrence as we talk, as we speak about him. But the co it does bait out the Cosmic Radiance. But Rutgers, they want to try to get some value out of it. But right now, it doesn't seem like that is the case. Music is nice. Going to get taken out dangerously low. And he's going to get taken out. That's too much I can place. But the Ash Arrow going to land onto the Seraphine. But the Seraphine way too far away for anyone from Farming Farmington to follow up on it. Come up and to dissuade the play. Very nice. Oh, and Sam's gonna be able to get out just fine, preserve his Dark Seal stacks. Well, okay, you think it's nice Dark Seal stacks. The Bimble Winter there. On top. As Ash slowly but surely working towards the Infinity Edge. Yet if Rage Blade Ash is still more damage, I haven't checked the math on that ever since they messed with the Rage Blade, which is so long ago. Nest probably gonna be hovering for his for the bot push here. It does look like Tension Key Place has picked up the QSS, so Ash him being an Ash target is kind of Look at the pass. cavalry coming in. Oh, it's a little too late. Fair enough in a minute 30. They think Nispel's alone because of the Akshan W. As <laughs> Always give your bot lane a red buff, boys. Always give eight. always give Molly red buff. Sure. Gonna... Oh wait a minute, he's gonna get stuck. Yeah, look at this pick comp. Nah, 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 man, nah, 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 nah. That Q didn't hit. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, no fucking way. No fucking way. That old hit, that Q hit. No fucking way. I refuse to believe it. That had to have been ult, right? I'm not crazy here. 
No, 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 no. No, 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 There's no way. There's no way. This Lee Sin's ultimate cooldown is on a 25 second cooldown. I don't know how I feel about that. He needs the playmaking. He has full build as well. Oh, they're gonna make their way towards the dragon pit. No mid lane. It's gonna be a 45. It's gonna be a 45. Don't try plays. No TP has the ignite for lane. So I'm not sure if they can actually fight for this. Oh, here's the oh. You got one. You got to leave. At this point, you leave. You have no Seraphine ult. That's oh, so much of your team fight. And this bro, this bro, no. He was going for it. He gets the steal. We'll get the Ocean Soul for his team. And nothing Unlucky. else results from it. Unlucky. What a swipe. What a heist coming in from this bro. But can he do it again? As Farmington, they're going to look to go for the Baron this time around. His smite is back off cooldown, so is Terrence's. It's going to be a 50-50. But that is if Nisbro can even make it into the pit. Yeah, they have no vision. Well, toggling. They got the vision toggle going. They're going to peel off. Surely. Yeah, they're going in blind. Here comes the engage coming in from Farmington. But the Cosmic Gradient, it's going to buy a lot of time. Terrence can't really output as much damage thanks to it. And the... And Rutgers do manage to force them off the Baron. Yeah, that was 4v5 as well. Predictable went to catch the top wave. Pings onto 0 and 7 now. They have. They only really have the Nautilus uh -oh. ulti, but look at that Nautilus uh -oh. position. Owens, oh, Nisbro! He gets caught out! No chrono break. It was almost off cooldown, but. Just too, too much aggression coming in from this Echo. And now too much IQ plays though. Look at the look at the minimap. He's coming in from the flank. Liz gonna be the first to fall. Good scattered to weak to stun up a good chunk of Rutgers. But the rest of Rutgers, they're gonna group as one. They have so much utility coming from this Tarek and Seraphine. The Terrence, he's trying to do his damage to keep himself alive. Predictable. Gonna get healed up by the Seraphine empowered W as yeah. Orn trying to keep, build himself an item there. Gonna flash away the safety for the time being. Predictable though, he's gonna chase him down. Will he get the kill though? Good interrupt on the dash. That just spells the end of this Orn, probably. But look at the rest of the team. The Ash Arrow gonna land onto the Seraphine. But Terrence, he's gonna go in. He's gonna get a kill. Now it's up to 0 and 7. These Sonic waves are just landing left and right. He lands three in a row. Predictable. Now he's gonna be in a one versus three. Can he clutch it out? Looks like the answer might not be the case as he's gonna get stunned up. The stopwatch gonna buy a bit of time. Will he just buy just enough? It looks like he will as Nispro, he's back, he's respawned. This fight has been going on for way too long as Terrence gonna get one, but Froggy. Finishes that was off with an quite ace. Quite the pop from that was, that was quite Froggy. a pop. What a team fight coming in from both sides. It's neck and neck all around. But in the end, Farmington will be able to take this Baron. Off the heroics of Terrence, 21 and 4. 21 and 4. He almost has 100% KP. Think about that yeah. for a second. Yeah, he, that, and that, that one KP he missed out on was early game. For, 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 since lane phase ended, he's been in, at, the, at the center of every single pick on the map, every single fight on the map he has participated in. <laughs> That is insane for a Lee Sin. And with that, look at that huge spike coming in. MV Froggy, Rabadon's Death Cap. Warren, he's completed Fimble Winter. Ash had the, had the IE last fight, but still working towards the fourth item. Nas has a four mail, so many uh -oh, sorts of heals coming. Not, oh my god, look at that. The late game Sy Syndra coming in hot. The 15% yeah. execute. Doing this work there. Update. That was through Lockett as well, just not enough MR on him. Look how much Pen the Syndra's packing. The 20 flat from Shadow Flame, 18 from from uh Zorks, another what, 11, 16, 21 from Ludens. That's so much flat pen. Aaron's, Aaron's now, Lance, oh, that was the won. front line for Rutgers. How do you stop Terrence now? Ult gonna land, but he, there goes the good QSS. QSS. Yeah, good play. QSS from too much IQ. Now there's the engage coming in from Liz, but Maybe I don't think he really wanted to engage. Here it comes, the kick back to disengage, but the but Liz 
does still get picked off in the end. And look at that base. Oh my You're god, wait a minute at the base. Here it. it goes. Predictable, he wants to interrupt the backs. Here, it's just so much chaos going in. The rest of Farmington, they need to back. This bro, he's whacking on the towers. But can Rutgers interrupt the backs in time? Syndra gonna be forced to TP, but he's on the control board. He's gonna get interrupted. This bro on the Nexus, no one there in time. Lee Sin is in the back. Bozen, the one to defend, but he's not gonna do a goddamn thing. Rutgers with the base race going for a 2 0. And they get it. That was quite the ending. I don't think that anyone is, was expecting. That is heartbreak. Ithril to just pull up at the very end there. Terrence played his heart out at that the end. Heartbreak on the side of Farmington. Everything was going for this Lee Sin, but it wasn't enough to close it out. Off the heroics of Nisbrel was able to just secure the game number two. He didn't want to deal with it anymore. He just wanted to go for the Nexus. And Nexus he gets. And with oh that, that God. does mean that it's going to be a 2 0. Oh, week for Rutgers YCY, I believe. I'm pretty sure that secures some playoffs guaranteed. The question is how far they're being seeded into the playoff bracket itself. And as for Varsity Black, I believe they're, the last time I checked, they're up 1-0 in their series. Uh, they are playing to make sure they do not get eliminated with that. Are they going to accept from us? It was Farmingdale, by the way. It was Just Farmingdale? Check. It was Farmingdale. Farmingdale. They're the oh Farmingdale Rams, and I'm going to strangle Matt. <laughs> 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 I am going to strangle Matt. And yeah, small update. It is Varsity Black 2 owing uh top O, I believe the, the team they faced is, which was like what, four challenger players? Oh my god. So congratulations to congratulations to them for an for a it's gonna be a four oh week for Rutgers in, in the NACC. Hell yeah. But I believe Hello. we'll see you later. Never thanks yeah, for watching. Whenever, whenever they uh decide to announce the, the, the dates and we'll be there. Alright. See you guys. Have a good night.